In this lesson, we will view, analyze and edit the Grader Report. Under Course Administration, click on Grades to open the Grader Report. Now we are viewing the Grader Report. The very first column shows all the students in the course. You can also sort their names in alphabetical order. In the next column, you can see the email addresses of the students. Third column onwards all the activities of the course are listed with the grades. In order to view other activities, drag the horizontal sidebar to the right. In the last row, you can view the average grades for a particular activity, calculated by dividing the total grades allotted for the activity, by the total number of students who achieved the grades. And in the last column, course-wide total of grades is listed for all students. Now click Turn Editing on to enter into editing mode. Now, you can edit the grader report around certain aspects illustrated as follows. By clicking the minus sign beside the course name in the report, you can also toggle that grader report view in three predefined settings, that is full view, aggregates only, and grades only view. Currently, the grader report is opened in full view in which the grades for all activities are displayed, and the total grades are also listed. Click on the minus icon that says, Aggregates Only, to change it to Aggregates Only View. This is the Aggregate Only View, where you can see the total course grades for all students. Click the plus icon that says, Grades Only, to view the report in Grades Only View. This is Grades Only View where you can only view the grades for all individual activities, but total grades are not listed here. By clicking the up-down icon beside any activity, you can sort it in ascending or descending order. Now click on, up-down icon besides mobile technology assignment. You can see that marks are sorted out in descending order from top to bottom. Click the icon again. This time marks are listed in ascending order from top to bottom. By clicking the edit icon just below the activity name, you can edit the grade item. Click the edit icon below Q&A activity to see the edit grade item page for this activity. Now we are on edit grade item page for Q&A forum. Here you can lock or hide the activity completely from the gradebook by checking the respective options. Let's hide the Q&A activity. Let's lock it also, so that further changes by the activity in grades for this particular item are not permitted. Then click save changes to save the settings. Now Q&A forum should appear faded, representing a hidden item. To verify this let's log in as student and see that Q&A forum does not appear at all in Grader Report. Switch to Google Chrome now and log in as student 1 to see the course grades. Now we logged in as student 1. Click on Grades under Course Administration to view the Grader Report for student 1. Notice that Q&A forum is not listed in the report. Now again switch to Firefox and log in as admin user. In Grader Report notice the small edit boxes for entering the grades. These boxes can be used to override the grades manually for a particular activity and for a particular student. Let's override the grades for proposal for project workshop activity. To view the activity in Grader Report, scroll to the right side. Click in the edit box. And change the grade manually. Then click Update to reflect the changed grade in the grade book. Again scroll to the right to see the changes. Notice that the grade has been overridden. By clicking the Edit icon in Grade Cells will take you to the Edit Grade page for this entry. Again notice that the override box is checked because the grade has been overridden manually. If you like, you can exclude this grade from the aggregate by checking the excluded box. You can also hide it and lock it as well. Moreover, time can be set for, hidden until, and lock after settings. You can also provide feedback for this grade entry. Since we have not made any changes, so click Cancel to return to the grader report. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and, implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.